PD staffing issues are included in a new plan unveiled today by Mayor Cantrell. As Mike McDaniel explains, the mayor says the goal is to attract and keep officers on the job. Under a recruitment and retention plan from the city's administration, the New Orleans Police Department could start to see manpower increase. This gives us a plan and an opportunity to move forward to bolster the numbers, but also enhance the numbers. Part of that plan creates $5,000 recruitment payments once a new officer completes training and then additional $5,000 payments for every five years of service, up to 20 years. We need to make sure that they stay even once they're hired, and what we're proposing, we believe, is the step in the right direction. Currently, the NOPD has just more than 1,000 officers, far short of the 1,600 goal. Mayor Latoya Kentrell says that gap, which also exists in other public safety agencies, must be filled. We will certainly feel the impacts of these vacancies if we do not ramp up our efforts to both recruit as well as retain. It's nice to, to see uh, the city recognizing the need for a plan. Donovan Livicari, an attorney with the Fraternal Order of Police, says this plan could be a big help, but will need to expand. But I think that we're going to have to go beyond uh, the, you know, these monetary uh, payments if we're really going to have a, a, a a valuable impact on retention. Meanwhile, the city council is asking the governor for help from state police to patrol interstates as an understaffed NOPD deals with widespread violent crime. Former NOPD officer Ronald Doucette went before the city council's criminal justice committee Tuesday and talked about low staffing. Right now, being what it is, it's not how many police, it's how you police. We have got to be more effective with what we have. City leaders hope there will be more to have, but it'll take time to get there. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. And the city plans to ask the state legislature for a one-time payment of $15 million to help pay for the entire plan, which includes all public safety agencies. It's expected to cost about $4 million a year after that. It also requires approvals from the city council and civil service commission.